So our next guest is paying it forward by creating opportunities for students through his scholarship initiative, GOFA. Uh, Walford Stewart joins us from the Big Apple. And he just told me that it's not that cold in the Big Apple. There he is. Morning, sir. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. It's morning time. I think maybe... Okay, there you go. I was going to say, I think he, he, he froze on us. Can you hear me, Walford? I'm here, I'm here, I can hear you. Yep, all is well? So far, so good, no complaints. All right, um, so a baller from St. Elizabeth who did more than just play um, football, actually played for Jamaica also, so you're a big thing. But uh, um, bring me up to date when you left and why you left and what you did before GOFA. Uh, I started since 2000, the year 2000. Um, I left 2006. My graduation year would be 2005, but I stayed back in, you know, soccer. Took a, an extra year to play D Cup. Um, and then I left the country on a scholarship. I got a scholarship to the University of Maine, um, 2007. So I left 2007. Um, played for the country starting at age 13. I played the Norwegian Cup with the Norway to represent the country. And then I got selected national under 17 team um, while I was in uh, grade nine. That's actually when I started playing that as well. So um, things kind of took off for me there as it relates to, you know, getting involved in soccer and, and getting myself out there a little bit more. Why go for? It's a long story, you know, but um, I'm just going to make it short. I know I don't have a lot of time. Um, it's it's just motivation, you know. I had my my personal journey, and um, I've experienced a, a lot in terms of I've gotten a lot of help help, and I also um, realized that when I was in my tougher moments, um, how I made it through was that I, I never stopped. You know, I was always I was always going, no matter what happens, no matter how many things were on my plate, or no matter what wasn't working out at the time. I realized really what worked for me is just that I never. I just never stopped. So, you know, I wanted to create something to not only share my story, but also to motivate others that, you know, this is really what works, you know, and, and also have people that know me or people that don't know me um, get a chance to see me start from nothing and uh, working my way towards something, but really and truly it's because of what GOFA stands for, which is um, go for it um, um, to translate in English. And, and um, that's really what works for me. So I really wanted to, you know, put it out there, motivate others and just help someone because I've gotten a lot of help. And um, I just let them know that, you know, someone is there for you and, and just let others know that it, it's OK to help someone because sometimes all that person needs is just that extra help to um, improve their life or, or make a difference in the world. Yeah. Um, when you say scholarship, you, you think of money. How is this funded? Because scholarship means somebody has to pay for something. Um, how, how are you funded to help who you want to help and who you are helping and who you have helped? Right. So um, based on everything I, I just said, um, because I played soccer and, you know, because I started the brand and it, was, it kind of gave me, gave me some sort of recognition and I have a lot of you know, people around me were like some solid support, not only family, but friends and um, people I've met along the way who have just been really, really, um, you know, pushing me, um, helping me, whatever the case is. So I figured um, I could use my my following, so to speak, and um, create something um, enticing. So I started an event and the event is called the Body Support Event. So I've been partying a lot. Um, so I've seen that I spent a lot of money on, on you know, alcohol and like bottles in the, in the party. And um, I figured, how can I switch that and make it cooler, make it trendy, make, you know, someone spending a thousand dollars in bottles, like let's spend that elsewhere. And I could use some of that money to, you know, help people in, in um, help kids in Jamaica. Because what a lot of people don't know is that what it costs us for a bottle here in, in the events over here in, in America, it actually um, funds a child's tuition back in Jamaica. So it's just, it's a transition. It's translated to um, individuals here that, hey, instead of buying that bottle and just drinking alcohol, you can come to my upscale event and I can give you an enticing um, atmosphere 
Um, and at the end of the day, um, it's going to a good cause and using whatever money you spend at that event. You can go crazy, spend as much as you want. You can um, buy as many bottles as you want, or you can just do dinner because it's a dinner slash bottle event. And um, that's really how I fund the scholarship um, because the event does, in the first year, the event did very, very well. I am only um, excited to see it do way better this year because people are really looking forward to it. And I still have that support system that I figured I could use to, to um, support um, the funding of the initiative. Yeah, I saw some pictures of some students. I, 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 I suspect those are some of the students who you have helped. A lot of uh, St. Elizabeth Technical, but there was someone else from another school. So how do you find these students or how do they find you? And is it what, a needs thing we're talking about here or is it just because the person bright, you want to help them? Um, how, do you, how do you do this? Um, so I just want to I just want to address the bright thing real quick before I, I get into anything else. Um, it has nothing to do with, with the bright uh, because I think everyone deserves an education. I think education is really going to be the difference in um, Wally versus Walford toward the future. And um, I just want to foster that for someone. So I'm looking for people that, um, students that are in need, actually, the ones that are going to get kicked out of school because they can't afford it. Their parents are, are in an unfortunate situation and they're not able to um, fund their own child. And I can only imagine what that looks like. I, I can only imagine I've seen friends unable to achieve stuff or to afford stuff and I um you know I assist but I, I can I can I understand what that feels like so to speak. Yeah. Um so how do you find them? How do they find you quickly? Well I started I started out with that's because I knew I have I had a platform reach out to principal Mr. Wellington. I definitely wanna um let him know I appreciate it. And he gave me a platform to start off with Stead. So the moment I started getting out getting the uh, um, the initiative out, a lot of uh, people started reaching out to me. So I, I had a, a student, a GC pastor that reached out to me. She wasn't able to um, pay for um, doing her classes and she needed to graduate. So that was the first person that I reached out and I was the first person I helped. And then I had another parent that reached out to me right when the pandemic was crazy. Um, she needed support to get an, an iPad for her child. And I took that one on too. And then I had a friend um, from um, high school. I went to high school with me. She's teaching um, at the high school where the other student is at. And she reached out to me and I, I took the opportunity to help okay. her child. So I, I really just want to say it's not all about stats. I just want to help um, Jamaicans, Jamaica, you know, where the need is. All right. Fantastic. Um, you're still coaching? I know you were coaching some kids. You still doing that? No, I kind of dropped that a little bit. I feel like I'm too <laughs> young for that right now. <laughs> All right, I'll anyone just you want to some more? Yeah, anyone you <laughs> want to say hi to before we go? Um, just want to shout out the sponsors for the event. Definitely, I can't call all ten of them, but you know they're really the backbone backbone of this event. Definitely, Mr. Wellington and uh, Miss Alexander for um, helping me out with um, all the presents presentations at Stitz and. Um, uh, Miss Byron, Miss Byron, that helped me with the other child. So, and all the people that just keep pushing me, you know, just telling me to keep going and don't stop because I really need to hear that because it gets weary um, doing things um, by yourself. But um, that's extra motivation, extra gas. Gas is expensive right now. So, that's gas that I need a few of them. So, yeah, man. All um, right. Shout out to everyone. Yeah, man. It's a great thing that you're doing on behalf of who you've helped. Um, thank you and um, congrats. I appreciate it. Man. Look after yourself. Yeah, thanks. Thanks God for bless. having me. Yeah, man, stay safe. Yeah. Founder of the GOFA uh, Scholarship Initiative, uh, Walford Stewart. That's it for this week's Diaspora Check In. All right, fun stop comes up after the break. Soon come.